Hi, this is Hunter with Whirlwind Propellers. One of our 300 series constant speed propellers had an oil leak that was determined to be caused by the piston o-ring deporting from the cylinder in the hub. To prevent this, all owners of 300 series propellers manufactured before September of 2020 should follow these steps to shim the high angle stop. Alright, so to measure where your low angle stop is set at, I'm going to try and keep this part of the micrometer uh, pressed up flat against that surface of the nut there, and that's just my way of making sure that I'm not holding it out at an exaggerated angle like that. If you try to remove the low angle stop nut before taking the screws out, then the uh, last two screws could get damaged by the spring pushing out on the cap. So this is the, the high angle stop that we're talking about. So we've got our three fiber washers here that came with the service letter kit. So we're just gonna put those on slide it up against the high angle stop, make sure the high angle stop is pressed back in there and it's not hung up on the washer or on the screw head. Instead of trying to force the cap onto the hub and compress the spring by hand, what you can do is use one nylon washer to prevent metal on metal contact as you screw the low pitch nut onto the pitch rod and just screw it on until the cap contacts the hub face and you can get the uh, the cap screws in. Uh, but 23 inch pounds is about as tight as you would want to uh, turn with a screwdriver. You don't need to crank on the screwdriver and especially if you're using something with a handle like this, you're just going to snug it up. And then you'll end up taking the low pitch nut off of the pitch rod to put the remaining nylon washers back on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and you can perform the service letter on your propeller and get flying again as soon as possible. Thanks again. Have a good day.